So, um, figuring out what to do for short lesson content. Uh, I think one of the first things I want to do is just talk about taking basic chords, understanding how they work, how they resolve, and, uh, and then kind of ex expand on that idea. So I'm going to use a song that's fairly basic uh, if you understand like some old school jazz stuff. I'm going to start with triads. We're going to expand upon that and how to voice lead between them. Uh, and I'm going to kind of blow through it because if you want a private lesson on it, hit me up um, where I can really kind of dig into it. And yeah, uh, I basically just got up, so bear with me on this. So the song's All of Me. It's like old school jazz standard. And it's one of the easier ones. It's definitely got some uh, changes in it, but I'm going to do my best to kind of simplify it. So first chord, I'm going to use bar chords for the most part here, and then we're going to you know, get a little more difficult. First chord uh, is going to be a C, and it's a C major. And it's major because it's got a major third. It's got a perfect fifth. Um, and there's a bunch of different ways to play a C. Um, you know, but we're just going to stick with these kind of basic chords for now. So I'm playing C first and third finger, uh, first finger A string, C note, and then a G, C, and a, a E. So it's root, fifth, third, root, or sorry, what am I saying? Root, fifth, root, third. So um, I'm going to use this type of voicing. These are like kind of block voicings, your basic bar chord stuff. So it starts with C, uh, then it does an E, uh, E major. And that is technically not in the key of C major, but it, it's it's functioning within, within the, the harmony of C. Uh, then we have an A major. Again, not technically in the key of C, but we're going to figure out the function. Uh, and then it's a D minor chord. So real, real slowly, C, E, A major, big old chord, six string root, and then D minor. Back to E major, uh, then A, uh, A minor, D major, D minor, G major, C. Uh, there's a, a, a B section or whatever. We're not going to go over that just yet, but, um, so anyway, now these chords, you know, if you, if you play, uh, any kind of jazz stuff or whatever, or if you want to sound a little more fancy pants, you're not just going to go like this. That's parallel motion. All that's kind of silly. Um, it definitely has its place in punk rock and metal and stuff, but, uh, so the idea we're going to explore now is we're going to add other notes to these chords. So. For, for example, C, I'm playing two root notes, two C notes on the uh, A and G strings. I'm gonna play a note half step below that, the seventh in the scale. So that's C, D, E, F, G, A, B. So now I have what we call a major seventh chord. Um, and I apologize if you already know this stuff, but some people probably don't, so. Anyway, I'm gonna play C major seven. Uh, the E chord. This is what's uh, known as a chord that's going to voice lead to the sixth chord. Uh, fancy terminology for it, like sounding like Bach or whatever. Um, so there's G sharp wants to go to A. So instead of just playing an E, I'm going to use a diatonic note from the C scale, a D note, which again, if I started and play a C major scale, but with a modified G sharp, I'm going to have a D note in that chord. I don't even want you to worry about theory too much. Just know this is how the chords go to the song so you can play it and like kind of get your ears wrapped around it. So now I got C major seven is what we're calling that thing. And I got an E seven. I'm gonna go to the A chord. Now A major has a C sharp in it. Well, holy hell, that's not in the key of uh, C major at all, is it? Well, it actually is, uh, even though it's got a silly C sharp note. The C sharp is just trying, just trying to bend your ear towards the next chord, which is a D. Uh, C sharp is voice leading to the D chord. A voice leading just means it's pushing up by a half step. Makes your ear go, oh, I, I think I'm going to hear a D chord next. Uh, it could be major or minor, doesn't matter. In this case, it's going to be a D minor. So if I play this uh, A major, diatonically, if I played um, the C scale with that modified C sharp, 
So I got, uh, what is it, uh, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F, G. I'm gonna put a G note in that chord. Gives me a G dominant seven. Uh, you know, these chords are dominant for a reason because they dominantly want to push your ear to uh, the next chord. Um, and this is all like layman's terms, right? I'm not trying to hit you with like heavy theory or be like, hey, I'm classical guy or jazz guy and you need to know all this stuff. Um, it's just, the, it's do this, sounds cool. Goes to that. You know, you can, if you want to read a book and, and do all that stuff, which I did, went to college for it, right? Um, that's cool. Or if you just want to know, like, hey, man, if I play this chord. Sounds good. So do that, and it's fun. Um, so then we got a D minor chord, and like I said, we go back to E. Instead of doing E major, we're going to do the E chord with the, the D note in it. gives us the E7 or E dominant 7. And then we're going to do uh, an A minor. And in this case, you could do A minor or you could put a silly 7th in there too. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, G. You can play it like this. I play it like that for some reason. I don't know why. Sometimes put a different bass on the bottom. Um, but you can do it like a bar chord like this, just fingers 1 and 3. First finger all the way across. Third finger on that uh, pesky A string or you leave the A string out, which I prefer to do most times. And then uh, you got a D7 chord, which is another dominant chord. Fancy that. It looks just like this E7 we played up here. And then you got a D minor seven, kind of crazy business. Um, and that's the same as like if you play an old D minor, just take the pinky off, cool. Just a minor seven, it's, if I started from D, I'm still in the key of C. Uh, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have my fancy G chord. It's gonna be a dominant chord just like the A7 was. So I'm gonna get rid of that pinky, just ditch that sucker. Now I got an F note on the D string, and I'm back to my fancy C major seven. Now if I play all that stuff together, Whatever, you can use either one. Uh, E7, A minor 7, D7, G7. So let's put that in context. One, two, one, two, three, four. So I played a couple different chords there. That's where we're going with it. Um, I like generally, and this, these, these are all general things. Like, you know, there's no uh, hardcore rule. Like if you're just playing the tune, I'll drop my pick. If you're playing the tune, you just play it how you want to play it, right? Like these are just basic ideas. This is a how to, if you don't play this stuff, how to start using it. Um, so it's kind of like keeping the root on the fifth and six strings block kind of voicings. Now, when I play this song, I do not play like that most of the time. Sometimes I will use those chord voicings. Um, but like, for example, if I was gonna play it uh, by myself, I might play this. And so, like, what some of that stuff is, is some trickier business where I'm using, like, uh, major seven, uh, major six chords, inversions of said things, um, and substitutions. Um, that's kind of a tough one. But, um, so, like, all this stuff is, like, kind of Joe Pass things that I've... I've like picked up from watching lots of videos of him or like uh, Borelli um, or whatever. So if you're interested in learning those kinds of things, uh, I guess just hit me up. But that that's kind of like my basic like how to, you know, you start with, you know, your basic block chords 
and then you figure out how to uh, expand upon them. And, and like I said, if you want to learn it, just hit me up. Hope that was helpful, kind of. <laughs>